up against a very well-known European player, a regular top 22, a regular day two player himself, Hedy Brahmi, with that new VMAX deck you know and love. Yeah, I think if you're ever sitting across the table from any of these players, you're not in for an easy one, that is for sure. You know, Hedy Bramley, well known in the EU community. Like you said, regular top 22 placer. You know, no stranger to the big events and doing really well. But like you said, Haru traveling all over the globe and doing very well. Multiple placer in uh, ICs, Pittsburgh as well. And the World Championship 2022 got a top 32 at 19th, just narrowly missing out on that top 16. So, yeah, fantastic players here in this Swiss round seven. Both players did start off with a mulligan. Mulligan to get started. How are you feeling with this matchup, Shay? You yeah. know, guarded by EX on the left hand side up against the DTE Mu on the right. <laughs> what are you expecting? We've seen a little spice in some of the decks yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's an interesting one. I do feel as if, you know, DTE version of Mew is the way to go if you're strictly playing against Guard of Art EX. Yes, you know, all you're going to do is try and shuffle their hand away via Judge and Iona, put the path and just ask questions from the Guard of Art player. I will say, though, Alex Hedy has got one card really good in this matchup. That box of disaster. Yeah, an incredible tool for this kind of matchup as well. If the Pokemon V this card is attached to has full HP and is knocked out by damage from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, put eight damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. So yep. great card to use when Haru may be looking for those big knockouts, having attached oh, all oh, those oh, goodness, energies. Oh, goodness there, gracious prices. me! <laughs> oh my goodness, Alex! Speaking of box of disaster, that's in the prize cards, but I'll tell you what else is in the prize cards. Two copies of Guard of Art EX. How many does he play? Only two! It is only two. Two massive cards at the top of the prizes as well. <laughs> oh, and no. his reversal energy. Oh no. It's gonna be it's gonna be difficult. And Haru is kicking us off for around seven with the Mew in the active spot as yep. well. Battle VIP pass in hand, an opportunity to find out what's actually happening here. Right, right. everyone, I want you to watch that little camera up top there for Haru as he looks through his deck. There's the first look for him. Hold on a second. Uh, let me let me look through again. What have we prized? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Third look through. Hold on. Yeah, check the hand. Not in hand, no. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Haru, that is correct. Was Two. looking to make notes there, but just had to double check. Yeah. Check the hand. It's not there either. Yeah. Knows instantly no access to Psychic Embrace. Now, it's not quite end of the world. You do have copies of Reversal Energy now, so you can actually get in the game. But one of yep. them is as well, actually, as the production staff put out there, just let reminding me, nope, that's not quite the guy Joe free card either. Haru up against the wall. Yeah, might have to be start like two hit KOing where possible, I guess, swinging with the other reversal energy that's still yeah. in effect. Does play two copies, yep. but needs to find another way to ramp up those energies. Maybe having to use something like the God of our with that shining arcana just to try and ramp up energies where possible. Maybe having to lean into the Zashin V yep. as well. Yeah. But we're in a little bit of a pickle here. Yeah, we could actually see a world and, like you said, try and bench the Zashin V and try and get some War of the Sword. That's going to be one way to... Oh, speaking Ooh. of Zashin V, there it is. Now, you have to imagine it, Alex. If you know what those prize cards are, you are going to have to get that uh, Zashin into play and just try and accelerate mm -hmm. energy, right? I think you kind of have to. Here we see that mysterious telling the top six card take any item, and there's a rare candy. I mean, that would normally... Not something you would you would love you something something you would love to see I should say yeah, definitely early on not when you're uh, two guard of our EX in the prize cards yeah I think we're both still speechless that yeah, the I'm guard of our EX <laughs> is in the prizes hidden at the top there not wanting to face up against this yeah. path DTE Mew as it currently stands but let's see how Haru, Haru yeah. is going to play out this turn we do see this Ashton V come down the attachment to it he knows that the raw the sword to accelerate energies to get onto the board and maybe take a cheeky early prize yeah. to get them out of the prizes. I think Little do, does he know it's at the top. Yeah, I think that's kind of what you have to do, though. Um, does Haru play a heavy ball? Any chance to shuffle them up? No, not quite. quite. And it's worth noting as well, when we did see the prize cards coming back on screen, we did see two copies of Ultra Ball. Normally, that would be all the copies of Ultra Ball from Garnival, but Haru does play a full play set of four, so it does have access to two more Ultra Ball. All right, let's see what Hedy is working with here. That would be a battle VIP pass. That's a fantastic card to start off with. Um, Ultra Balls, Feather Ball. Okay, good few cards you can get rid of there. We see a Chromomatic as well. So Hedy can go off to the races here, I feel. Yeah, it's one of those decks which 
often you find many sort of insta playables or cards yeah. that you can use immediately as we do get a chance to just you know watch heady in the top right corner but also with the deck in hand just iron up how he's going to be play out his turn uh, with the double genesec there going on the bench double checking his prizes as well i don't believe there was anything too crazy there no. we were just kind of flummoxed by the god of our ex oh well of course to but. be fair the box of disaster was in the prizes but <laughs> funny, that might not be terribly impactful um mm -hmm. right now if there's no god of our ex threat I mean, Hedy isn't to know that though in all yeah. fairness Hedy isn't going to know that that is a knowledge only we have so <laughs> he's probably thinking great so i play this card for god of our and now it's in the prizes. That's great. That's fantastic. Yeah, just got to play out his turn yep. as cleanly as possible, making sure he makes as few uh, misplays as possible. Gets the Fevel Ball down yep. uh, to be played as well, allowing him to search for a problem with zero retreat cost. Yep. Of course, those Mews are vital for doing that. And the VMAX as well. Um, that searches for the basic V and the VMAX. Fantastic mm -hmm. little card, actually. Something that you can afford to play if you're playing the DTE version, because you have a little bit more deck space than you mm -hmm. otherwise would have, can get that in there. I want to say massive shout-out to production staff as well for getting those shots of the prizes while we're talking. That's fantastic. Yeah, I, see you, I see you over there. <laughs> just got to make sure the viewers at home are getting yeah. the same information that we yeah. have, you know. There's a reason why we're getting all excited for certain cards that are coming down and hidden at the same time. But here we go. It's just a, Ooh, an escape wow. rope that Mew just going back onto the bench. There's Ashton going into the active spot. Tell you what, that's brave. Haru doesn't actually know that uh, Hedy's playing the disruption build. Putting that uh, Zashin in the active, if a Meloetta was to come down, that could have been game over. But maybe mm -hmm. Haru maybe saw the feather ball, thinks mm -hmm. chances are this could be a disruption build, putting it in the active. Hedy does fire off that judge, resetting both players' hands down to four. But bear in mind, Hedy does have access to that fusion strike system. That hand could be filling up yep. at a fast rate. Yep, definitely. And I think this is showing just how these top le level players are starting to you know, play. They're both 5-1 right now, heading into this round seven that we're featuring for you. You know, Haru will know and start to understand what he's going to be facing up against when you see certain texts. That's the knowledge that he has of, mm -hmm. the, of all of the decks and the meta right now. Looks like you're going to see an ultra, ultra ball being ball, played, yeah. probably for that third Genesect V. One thing I really love about, about the DTE version of Mew V Max over um, Fusion is that you have full license to go full four Genesects, mm -hmm. uh, letting you draw a ridiculous amount of cards. There's no way around that. Um, and that is something that yeah. Hedy might be trying to work towards. It's just looking at Hedy's list right now. It's just a clean four Mew yeah. Vs, four Genesect Vs as his basic Pokemon. Uh, and nothing else, nothing too crazy other than those tech cards that you already mentioned, that box of disaster. Yep. Um, and just little things that he, he can instantly play um, whilst disrupting your own opponent. Yeah, well, one thing that Hedy has managed to fit in is the three copies of Forest Hills. Don't you do see one going in the hand there. We do <laughs> also see one little cheeky echoing horn. Ooh. which is something we could see being used, especially if Harry's forced to put down that Zashun, maybe taking a KO on it. But, uh, echoing it on it back, bosses orders back to take four prize cards before Haru can really know what's going on. Yeah, Hedy does have those, well, uh, I think two of those path to the peak in his hand as well, so can start trying to disrupt Haru, you know, limiting that Radiant Greninja on the bench, that yep. Warder Sword won't be able to be uh, utilized either. Haru needs to find a way or would like to find a way to try and take a prize here because Hedy obviously cannot evolve on his Ooh. first turn. I tell so you what, down to Haru here. I tell you what, Haru has got access to here. Rare Candy, Shining Arcana. Ooh. Things we love to see there. Because we know that Arcana's got to put a lot of work in. That's exactly one of the ways that Haru may be yeah. able to take a knockout this turn. Ooh. Hits the energy <laughs> of this double, double. Okay. Does need two energies on that Zashin V to deal 180 yeah. damage. Wow. So it's now just down to Haru. How he's going to play this th these energies down. It goes straight to the active. What? <laughs> Here we go. No card of our EX. Harry says, don't matter. I want to energy and play this way. That guard of our putting in the finest of work via Shining Arcana. Here we see a level ball and a battle VIP pass level. We can start to get those curlers out. Mm -hmm. Alex, you know, start refining, get through the deck, try and work towards that one reversal energy you have maybe. Um, but wow, the turn to offensive pressure from guard of our. I always feel as if, Alex, if you're playing against mm -hmm. guard of our, and they get a turn two KO. I always feel a bit hard done by. I'm like, you're not meant to be taking KO's <laughs> turn two. That's meant to be my job as a Mew player, not you. So I tell you what, we're doing everything he can to get back in this game. Oh, baby. Yeah. Another little bit of insight for you guys as well. Didn't choose to conceal cards first, making sure that there's as many cards as possible, including yes. energies, yep. not drawing into them. Yep. Hits that Shining Arcana. 
you know, all he needed to hit was one because he had one in hand, <laughs> yeah. but he hit the full double, you know. And, and now he's just being able to set up refinement in a way those useless battle VIP passes in turn two now. Yeah. More energies in hand. Can still attach to a Pokemon. Does need to think about future turns. What if yes. he doesn't hit the God of our yet? Sure. And that's where we're going to see some high-level plays here from Haru. Because like you said, I mean, it's all well and good taking this KO, but what if you don't take the EX out of prizes? How are you going to try and navigate your way through? And that's where I think we're going to see some decisions being made there for Haru. Here we do see Manual. I would imagine... Oh, maybe the, yeah, maybe the Mirage Step's the way to go here. So you can, if Hedy decides to chase that Gardevoir at some point, at least he won't be taking the energy out of play as he does so. Yeah, and there's the Storm wow, Slash for yeah. 180. Misses the God of our mm. EXs because we're the ones with the eye in the sky to know that they're at the top of the prizes there. Haru not, not likely best pleased. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then if he did get them, Heidi is going to say, right, yeah, let's get them. Let's shuffle away that hand anyway. So over to Heidi there as Haru does take the Storm Slash KO. Can't really ask for much more there from Haru doing everything he can. Um, and Heidi's going to say, right, let me KO this Zarshan. Maybe uh, a skate rope even, but I think just get rid of the Zarsh. That's four energy now. That's, that's, that's getting a little bit out of hand. Let's get them away and get back on the board, yeah. as it were. And this one, DTE. He does need to find DTE. He does have Forest Seal Stone yeah, available true. as well. Also needs one um, damage modifier yes. uh, to be able to stretch to the 220 HP. Usually quite simple yeah. uh, from yeah. you. Um, but let's see. There's, Hedy's only able to draw up to four cards with the Fusion Strike system right yeah. now. Well, there's, there's a tablet. Yeah, there's, there's piece number one. Yeah. Um, well, can get the DT from the Forest, Forest Seal Stone. Stone. Yep, Star Alchemy can get you there. And then that's, that'll be a return KO. But then she's just got to start thinking about the next turns, mapping those out. Iono in hand. Ooh, you know, drawing this one. This is only going to be for one. Potentially does have access to the... Um, lost vacuum, so you could maybe put the path in play, lost yeah. vacuum it away, but... Looks like he just wants to guarantee it first, yeah, think... get it played down. Yeah, I think that makes sense, right? Um, probably just going to find DT here if I had to guess. No reason to get clever with it, I would imagine. But let... Ooh, 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 maybe thinking okay. through it. Maybe I guess yeah. because he has Star Alchemy, can continue building through and drawing cards. Oh, sorry. Okay, <laughs> just... You used again, but just got to draw those cards now. Some Doesn't have DT in hand, though. No, sometimes you do this as a Mew player. You have to just... <laughs> I always feel a bit sad when you have to do it, but you have to... Um, oh, he's done. He's, oh, no, he's changes, decided to get... Yeah, yeah, I think... I mean, you could do that, right? Fill up the hand. You still have three Genesex. The odds are you will draw into the DT, but I tell you what, you will feel really unfortunate if you don't. Heady... Oh, go for it, though. OK, I see you. So Ultra Ball, getting rid of Iono, plus Path to the Peak. Don't mind that, because you can always use Lost Vacuum to get your hand down further if you draw into some um, undesirable cards yeah. here. Does target the Mew as well, now allowing him to Fusion Strike system up to five yep. into the hand with five of those Fusion Strike Pokemon currently in play. I don't know, this is one of those decisions where yeah. some people would have just taken the DTE to make sure that they can attack. But at the same time, you've got to start thinking about those future turns as well. I guess if you do just take DTE to attack, you can't draw many cards of future trust system. You do need to get down another Mu V just in case, right? So I guess that could be an argument. Oh, there's no DTE. Yeah, no, not yet. But the worry is if, if he did take the DTE and didn't hit another Mu, for example. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And there was, you know, he, he's not to know about the mm, Gardevoir in the mm -hmm. awkward scenario um, in the prizes. And it gets returned KO'd. He'd that be stuck. That is game over. Yeah, so... But I tell you what, Hedy has not drawn into it. Hasn't got a ton of playable cards here. Oh, there's going to lost vacuum. Going to get, get one of the yeah. forest seal stones, I believe. Get cards out of the hand. Oh. He needs got two more fusion strike systems to be able to draw into this DTE. This is wow. We're, oh, we're, this. we're just in a tough spot. We just got to wait for Hedy to do yeah. it. Here we go, Alex. Big draws here. Do we see? Oh, is it a chromatic? Do we see? Do we, do we see an item, actually? <gasps> There's no item there. No item. Is there any playables? Oh, There's the Mew. A Mew. Oh, no. Alex, Last here two. we go. It's got oh, an it's item. Cram for cram. Here we go. Here we go. We just see heads here for Hattie to get a key. That's a two. That's a two. Oh, wait, it's, That's a two. Oh, it's a two. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, reflection uh, yeah. has got me caught out there. Wowzers. That Massive. is... 
tell you what Eddie's thinking. Thank you, because if you was to miss after going for that ultra ball, and if you was to miss DT, you would feel rather unfortunate. But you know, law of averages, as it were, has a lot of draw power. You are going to find it eventually, and he does. So I was starting to, to you yeah. know, get get a bit of pump yeah. there. Let me check the heart rate he one missed, out here. Oh but does goodness. have the DT there now as well. Having played two damage modifiers, will be over yeah. KOing this Zashin V, and he won't know that Harry doesn't have access to any way of return KOing right now. No, no. I mean, if there was any EX, you know, there could be very easy, a very easy route there for that guard of our Shining Arcana, you know, reversal energy, a ton of Shining um, Arcanas, but that is not the case. What can Haru do? Yeah, usually the case is to try and utilize these reversal energies as mm -hmm. much as possible. Did get one out of the prizes. Oh, true. Um, but with both players right now at equal prizes, not yet active. Yeah. Does yep. have a turn to hopefully try and weave one in at some stage. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks like I, I don't really know what's the best way of, of playing yeah. this right now. How many energies even needed to knock out a Mu V Max? Nine, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Nine. Play this matchup or not with my friend. <laughs> yeah, I know. Nine is the magic number, I believe. So. Uh, da, 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 da. And the interesting, and the interesting thing is, if you are going to try and reach nine with the guard of art, you have to use reversal because you can't put nine mm -hmm. via psychic embrace. You have to use the reversal or choice belt, but that's not something Haru plays. Um, we do see a fog crystal off the mysterious tail. I'm just trying to think, what is the best way to navigate here? You, do, is a mirage step the way to go? I mean, you might as well, I guess. Mm, Super is one piece of the puzzle, though, because you are going to have to utilize that Zashin again at some point, mm -hmm. as it is your heavy hitter. So Super is one good uh, thing to see there. Yeah, it's just a really tricky spot here. And remember, you know, typically when Guardi plays match, matches, it, it struggles to sometimes fit in free mm. games as well. It, when does it become a point where you start thinking yeah, about, well, true. there's going to be a turn where I'm going to have to give up another prize and mm -hmm. maybe another prize um, and try and attach energies to Pokemon on the bench to Ooh, try and reach no. for like a KO on a Genesect or a Mew. Mm. Shining Okana hit zero energy that time. Oh, it's, it's tricky. Well, there's an interesting thing Hedy could have picked up on there. When you see a Gardevoir player shuffling a Zashun plus two basic energies, not something you see Gardevoir mm -hmm. do is shuffle in the basic energies. I wonder if that could elude you thinking, hold on a second, shuffling energy, is you really relying on Arcana that much? Could that give you that extra bit of information? Potentially. Yeah, yeah, and there comes down that Zashun V once again. You know, right now, Heavy's ha not even had to put down any of those Path to the Peaks he's seen. No. Um, of course, having to stretch for that DTE was, uh, was one way of doing it and having to kind of just navigate through that turn. Mm. But Haru, not in the best of spots, at least not that Heady knows right now anyway. I think if you're Haru, do you just try and set up your Zash and hope it doesn't get KO, try and um, get a KO on the... Um Genesect, I hope you get us mm -hmm. uh, in the X and just try and go for the nine energy. I think that has to be your way to uh, way out of this. Yeah, definitely. And I think playing that ultra ball just there where Harry's picking up that Gardevoir will give all the information yeah. to Hedy that yes, there's just no access point. to a Gardevoir EX. So Hedy's just thinking, why, why isn't that a Gardevoir yeah. EX here? He's put Zashin down after all. But here's another attachment. It's just going to be an Iono just an to Iona. try and slow Hedy down. Yeah, but I don't know, you know, when you've got Fusion Strike system, isn't quite the, uh, the death sentence it can be for some other decks. You mm. can say, okay, I'm I know to three or, you know, or four. Let me just draw back up to six, like, <laughs> instantly. Let's see what Haru can do. Just have one Shining Arcana to play with here, mm -hmm. so... Um, just have that collapsed stage, which could be here interesting. Here we do see Shining Arcana. Double, Double worker. worker. So Workers wants to get involved and give <laughs> Worker credit, but not quite what Haru is after. Yeah, I wonder. You, he had the reversal and one of the reversal energies in hand. If he committed it to a Gardevoir, Hedy will be looking to try and target yeah, that down. Sure. So that wouldn't be ideal. It's just trying to set up a, f a couple of attackers to then maybe target down, like you said, one of those Genesect Vs or Mu Vs, just to try and get that final piece. Yeah. It's just a case, can he do it? I mean, like, it's possible. Doesn't mean it's easy, though. We do see yeah. the refinement. We do see a boss's order. We do see the one boss, piece of the puzzle, piece. actually. Um, but we're not quite there. Um, all Haru can do is hope that Hedy can't take a two prize KO. Looks like it's just a pass Are over the hand axe. Maybe not yet. Do we see Double him checking. Um, obviously, yeah, it does end your turn. So let's get one energy into play, yeah. obviously. Um, 
Looks there like we go. are going to see. There we go. War of the Sword. And you uh, search your deck for a psychic energy and attach it to any one of your Pokemon. Doesn't have to be to the Zashim. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see where it goes. I mean, you could put on a Gardevoir, maybe try and make that a bit of a threat. Well, there is the energy. So let's see where it goes. Yeah, interesting decisions here. I think we're likely to see it on the Gardevoir. Um, it does put a bit of a target on its back, um, but it's a single prize attacker, so it might give mm. Haru another opportunity to try and weave it, weave in that. Oh, it just goes to the Mew as a potential retreat course, I guess. I guess that makes sense. Anticipating that Heddy may be looking Using to try boss. and boss. Yeah, that makes uh, sense. Something up. Um, but Haru just not able to get those Psychic Embrace God of IEXs out of the prizes yet. So it looks like we are going to be heavily reliant on finding that um, reversal energy next turn, or unless Shining, unless, well, I guess you could see a world in which both the Arcanas can hit some basic energies onto one, and you can try and use that boss into a Genesect. And here he is probably thinking, yeah, hold on, if there's no God of our EX threat, mm -hmm. how do I play this? That's a very interesting question, not something I would immediately know out of the gate either. I mean, you could go wide-eyed and go after the Zashun. Probably not the play, right? I think the Shining Arcanas might be the biggest threat since they are a way to get energies into play. And the Zashun, while it can, it has to end your turn. So not the most impactful. Yeah, definitely. And I guess it's the two Rises that's just kind of sitting there pretty at the moment. Um, but Hedy, Ultra Balling, getting another Mew VMAX into play now. Does have a way of kind of now pivoting around, I believe. Oh, he, he did just get Iono, uh, the DT, out of his hand as well, but does get to shuffle it back around the yep. deck because yep, obviously true. it went to the bottom. Uh, Fusion Strike System allowing to maybe draw into it, and then he could just keep pivoting mm -hmm. between those free retreat Mu V Maxes. Yeah, that's one good thing about Mu V Max has a free retreat, and one of the many great things of the car has a free retreat cost, <laughs> so you can even use a one copy of Switch and retreat back in. It's like Hedy's debating or asking how many cards in your hand. Yeah, you are right. It's one of the many yeah. great things of the Mu V Max. It's just such a great card. It's been around uh, the format and the meta for such a long time now. Always mm. seems to have a target on its back. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, was that a boss? It's a boss. Oh, my. Wait, was that? Yeah, it was a boss. But yeah, it does was. still need a, a retreat card. or switch out yeah. or DTE DTEs. or something. And not that many playable cards, I think, in that hand. A lot of support. Oh, well, he, he does have a switch card, so he can retreat and then oh, go into, into the Genesect. Yeah. So There's a few boss options orders. there. Cyrus art as well, very intimidating as it were. But yeah, what do you boss in? Do you have the power type? So you could go for the Zarsh and go down to two and say, right, you're on a big clock yeah, now. Looks like and I think that's what Hedy's doing, saying, right, let's race. Ooh, not yet. Give it a moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's not quite courage yet, Haru, not yet. <laughs> um, there we do see, oh, do you see the escape rope. rope. You can't play that turns, now, though. Yeah. Can't play that now. Otherwise, that Zarsh and goes straight back to the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding away once again, that's just. Wait, did he play he a did tablet? He did Blast, right? Uh, he did play a tablet. He hasn't been able to switch What's out yet. No. Just double checking both players. So, oh no, doesn't look like he... Yeah, I wonder if he Just announced gust it, up. but then realized I need to reset that Mew, so... He did, did have a number of cards in hand that was able to do so, but hmm. Haru given an additional turn here, maybe to try and claw a way back in. But that might be what you need, <laughs> if you are, to be honest with you. Doesn't, um, doesn't have any way of retreating the Zashin, though. Oh, that's a fantastic point. Normally, you just use uh, Psychic Embrace to just, you know, pile energy on and pay retreat. I think that's why we saw the energy get attached to the Mew, right? Because to give you an, an easy retreat. Mm -hmm. Well, without a psychic embrace, they had that Zashin. And there's a count, there's two energies in there. <laughs> we'll need so, to look at trying to um, use Shining Arcana to get to the yeah, active. That's the, uh, <laughs> oh, boy. What a real interesting little turn of events this has been. Um, yeah, God of our, you know, decks often don't play many switching cards. It's used to be able to just throw energy around with psychic embrace. That's not the case here. Here we see a Shining Arcana then, really impactful. Didn't get quite a look. Uh, no, no there's a didn't spot crystal and a level crystal. ball. Does he have another energy in hand as well? He can't really swing well, I with guess his Arshin V. I guess Fog Crystal could be that energy. Um, could be one. But you would need to get the Shining Arcana to hit yeah, first. I think that's what we hear we see. One and a two. No. I don't know, an Ultra Ball. Not quite the cards Haru needs here. Does play the Fog Crystal down. There's oh, the two. Look at all the energies there. Just, no just together. There's the energy. Uh, grabbed out of the deck there. 
So if there's no basic energy, oh no, there's one basic energy left. One so you can left, use yeah. War of the Sword. That is still an option. But is it enough to like yeah, so power up a Pokemon to take a knockout? Yeah, it's really interesting because you can't start trying to power up the Zashim because you know full well most likely that Mew Max is going to KO it, right? So and that Gardevoir with that Brainwave yeah. attack, similar to Zashim's uh, attack, 60 damage yeah. and 30 more for each Psychic Energy, with only three attacks, is doing 150. Does need a fourth to be able to take a knockout on a Mew, for example. Uh, and there's a roar of, roar of sword. I guess what Haru could do here is look, utilize that boss with yep. a reversal with the energy reversal, yep. to try and take a knockout on the Genesect. And I guess that's how he's lined up his yeah. um, Shining Arcana God of Oz right now. And I think that's a perfectly valid strategy. I think it could happen. <laughs> how many cards are in your hand? I'm guessing Hedy's saying there. So back over to Hedy. Now, obviously, the Techno Blast from Cross Future Strike has been reset, so this new uh, VMAX in the active can attack. Um, I wonder in this scenario whether Ooh. Hedy ever just says, well, can you retreat this, Zashin? With no yeah. energies left in deck. Yeah, None in hand. Oh, there's a Super Rod. Oh, okay. Can yeah, be done, true. but it's just uh, it's a lot of resources to commit just to get out of the active. It is, yeah. I guess Harry probably wasn't expecting this uh, Zashin to survive, but it has. And I quite like that play from Hedy saying, I have a feeling you can't move that Zashin. So let me just keep it there one more turn. Give just Hedy one more turn over. to try and... Bo and the pass, oh, yeah. you are there correct, you Alex. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like we've you. clocked on to something. Um, it's just a pass back. Hedy just passing over. Haru has not been able to do anything <laughs> right now. Can prolong the game. Does play 25 Iono, though, minutes right? on the clock. Iono's Super Rods. Yeah, Super Rods. But Tough. Yeah, here we go. Hedy identifying a real different strategy in this matchup. Normally, you're just taking KOs. Left, right, and center. Especially with Mew VMAX. Normally, you are drawing through your deck so much, you can't really rely on a deck out strategy that much because you're drawing so many cards yourself. But on the off chance, Haru finds himself. Yeah, there you go. A bit of a pass the pass with the turns, as it were. Um, and here we go. Hedy might be debating something here. Although there's a potential way of retreating. If it gets to the bottom, you super rod free energies back. Oh, and then shine Arcana. Arcana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really weird, unique scenarios that are, being, that are potentially coming up here as both players are just passing between one another. I don't think I've ever really seen Mew do this. No, I guess Hedy might be saying, right, we've already seen one rod used. You might prize another one. Uh, what's there's a roar the just to double check what's left. Is that two reversals? Two reversals, yeah. Because one got to take out the prize mm -hmm. cards and they got shuffled back. So Haru will need access to a reversal and the Super Rod with Shining Arcana to the active to gut. Oh, he won't even be able to use the reversal, sorry. No. They're equal in prizes. Yeah, this is a strange <laughs> one. Um, yeah, this is, a, this is not something we've ever seen before. No. Um, this, is, this can be the problem with Guard of our deck when you don't play any switching cards because you rely on Psychic Embrace. If you don't have Psychic Embrace, this sort of stuff can happen. The we did see the back reversal. in the day, do you remember, uh, Morwile was played for this exact same reason, right? Because God of Ardex didn't play switching cards. The reversal still acts as a colorless as a energy. Colorless. Um, when the prizes are equal, or, you know, you're not behind. Um, or even attached to a non, uh, well, to a rule box Pokemon, I should mm -hmm. say. So it just comes down to how Haru is going to be able to navigate this. He will have to try and take a knockout, but then if he follows a typical pattern of taking prizes, might still miss the God of our EXs. Yeah. And this, that, this game would just be prolonged. Yeah, that would be uh, unfortunate, but it's definitely a possibility, like you said. Um, as we do see a pass back over to Hadi. Yeah. Uh, okay. You said, oh, I've got two cards left. I don't think Hedy plays any ways of uh, getting rid of those two cards. There is no... Uh, no, not <laughs> That right would be now. quite cheeky, but that does not exist. <laughs> Just pulling out a random Tyranitar or something. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> no. obviously not possible uh, in this matchup. It's, is this just an awkward scenario? They're just passing right now. Haru's going to have to try and navigate this turn now. One card remaining. Double checking is, does still have 30 HP, I believe, now. Yeah. After that initial Genesect attack that was oh. copied, Techno Blast. Is this the turn? Oh no, both the reversals are in hand. So that means that last card is that Iono. So we can't even go for the Super Rod Solid Arcana play. It's not guaranteed. This is oh no, it would be guaranteed. Yeah, you know, you were guaranteed to hit same. one and then you could attach the reversal to get out of the active, which we might be seeing here. Yeah, just oh. to attach and pass because Haru can yeah, the so Super can... Rod and then guarantee the Shining Arcana's 
well, both Shining Connors could hit if he just uh, yeah. throws free energies back in. As Hedy's just trying to understand exactly <laughs> what's going to happen yeah. on the next turn. Both players playing really intricate <laughs> to try and just navigate these final few turns here with one card left in the deck for Haru. Yeah, it's an interesting strategy. It's a strategy we've seen quite a lot. I remember in the um, Arc Duraladon via Ian Robb at NAIC was playing the Mean Look plus Raging Alakazam combo for this sort of a similar strategy. Oh, we do see a boss now. Mm. Just bosses up the Shining Arcana. Guard of War there. We've seen one reversal energy. Of course, not every deck plays two. Sometimes this it is, is the one-off. Yeah, this is um, true. So now having seen it on attached to Azash and V, maybe he feels a little bit more comfortable with that. Yeah, a bit more emboldened to think, OK, well, that's your threat done. Um, obviously, isn't to know. Here we do see, what is the pal pad? Was that being played, was it? I see there's yeah. Iona in the boss's orders. I wonder if there was ever a world where Hedy maybe tries to target down the Curlier that's on the bench. That guarantees there's no Ooh, God of War. Yeah, it's coming out That is all. interesting, yeah. As well. Um, but does have multiple turns if he's kind of worked out that there's no God of War yet coming out. Um, so that's always going to stay a Curlier for at least a couple turns. Yeah, true, yeah. Um, so takes out a, potentially a threat here. There's no retaliation available. There's the max... Here we're just dealing 130. Oh, wow. Oh, 110. Um, and here's the last card draw. So, so how we do know we that's the out? Iono, right? So mm. it still will need to be oh, the similar play, I yep. believe. Oh, it's a rare candy. So um, Super Rod with at least, well, oh, maybe just all three energies. Um, mm. And then Shining Arcana to the active. A Gust on the Mu V to try and take two prizes. And then just seeing whether... He can draw the God of our yeah. EX. It's still possible for Harry <laughs> to win this game. It's Here very it is. possible, right? There's the free energy. Going in the deck. Give him a good shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you want to cut? Yep. Yeah. There's Shining Arcana. I mean, there's all of those cards in his hands. There's the boss as well. Yeah, I think he's eyeing up this play. Yeah, you, this is what you have to do. Yeah, boss is the Mew V. Wow. Who would have thought it would come to this? Having two Guard of RTX in the prize cards. Haru not going down without a fight. How often do we see Shining Arcana hit two energy twice yeah, in the gonna, same game? Yeah, <laughs> twice in the same game. Shining Arcana basically reading attached for energy from the top of your deck, please. Mm -hmm. um, wow. This is still so possible for Haru to win if yeah, he can liberate the Guard of RTX. There it is. Yeah. Yeah, just guaranteeing and showing. There's, there's the Brainwave now doing 180 100, damage. Doesn't even have to use that reversal in hand. No, does go ahead and prizes. The reversal just won't be really yeah. activated for yeah. a while oh, yeah. again. You can still hold on to that, which is mm -hmm. fantastic. How would consulting the discard pile? <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not what we were expecting <laughs> round seven of the little regional championships. But, you know, two very good players here just playing to their outs. That's all they've been doing mm. um, as much as possible. All these little things that they've had to work on. Um, in this matchup, well, especially with Harold just not having access to its main ability. It's, it's absolutely outrageous. This is one thing I was about to say. We're going to start seeing as much depth in as possible, mm -hmm. knowing that how um, Hedy can still play you know, a Judge or an Iono. Yep. All you want to do now is uh, have cards that can find the Guard of our EX on the assumption that you take it out of the prize cards, right? So for Crystal, can't find it. Get rid of it. Can Algebles can. Can remove the Zashim V as well. The well collapsed, collapsed yeah. yeah. That, is a, that is a possibility as just well. just forcing the kind of single prize game to try and navigate round. Oh, this is tough. Yeah, this is. there's a lot of moving pieces here. In fact, we do see the collapse get moved to the front, Alex. So, But that is one of the ways that Haru can bounce a path to the peak as mm, well. This is true. There's <laughs> two copies of Worker. Yep. So, we are just going to see that brainwave for KO. Does Haru, he grab? does he? Oh, oh that's dear. really unfortunate. Oh, dear. You know, he's having taken 66% of his prizes and just hasn't hit one of those God of Art EXs. Just hiding away. Is there a world again where can, he can take... Well, he'd have to take two more prizes. He'd have to knock out a Genesec somehow. Could he not just go reversal boss? If oh, it gets no, to that but point. no, because he's ahead on prize yep. cards now, If right? he gets to that point, <laughs> this is a really <laughs> tight no match. Way. <laughs> Hedy cannot allow those two Shining Arcana guard bars to stay not knocked out. Yes. That's going to be Hedy's sort of key aspect of what he's got to try and do here. He's now playing, he's finally playing cards himself. Yeah. 
It's funny, as we were getting ready to cast this game and we found out what the matchup was, I confidently said to the production staff, oh yeah, I know this matchup. I tell you what, I do not know what's going on right now. This is a unique scenario. <laughs> See the production staff smiling back about, yeah, you ain't got a clue, have you? <laughs> oh my goodness. And then we did to the judge. Okay, mm. we had a feeling this would happen, yep. you know. Um, resetting because the hands and the decks, as it were. Hedy's going to be thinking, well, I need to get yes. path down. I'm going to need to get, you know, Judge need or to Iono to just try and limit what that potential God of yeah. he's taken yeah. out of the prizes. Again, little does he know. Yeah, Harry still has no access yeah. to Psychic Embrace. Yeah, and I think, I remember the Barcelona finalists saying how he beat Tord in top four was Tord prize both his EXs and they were the last two prizes. So, funny enough, we've seen that situation it's, happen again. It's just coming, coming again. It's and I tell no you idea. what, if he did take the guard of out the prizes, he drew back the Ultra Ball so, and the stage him out as well. So, mm. we'd have been able to fetch it immediately back, but um, would there have been enough? Would there have been the right energy, enough basic energy to then take yet. a knockout on no. the Genesex? Does oh, on the Genesex? Probably. Oh, he only needs two prizes, right? Yeah. Um, doesn't play Pow Pad, as I understand. Doesn't play two boss. Really yeah, there was, there was a boss left. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So Had it in his hand before. It, well, obviously, probably well, had, yeah, he had everything. everything in his hand, <laughs> right, apart from one copy of basic energy. So, yeah, if you viewers at home are I interested in a very different way for yeah. this matchup to to be played out, this is this is the one. Yeah. Not, not anything is something we expected at all. Um, from every little play, every little intricate move between these players. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw, what, what five or six uh, draw passes. That's not something uh, you'd expect to see. Each. In yeah, <laughs> each. <laughs> There's the path laid down as well. So Hedy's probably thinking, I've done everything I needed to do this turn. Disrupt, path to the peak. That's everything he needed to do. And a knockout. And Well, yeah, with a knockout, exactly. So let's see what Haru can do here. Did, I mean, you know, normally, this would have been a, an amazing hand for this scenario, but the, the issue here is both Super Rods, I believe, have been played now. Yes, has come they back. have, yes, because the Zarshan got Again. used and then we saw... Um, so there's no way to recover that Gardevoir in the discard. So yeah. does that mean how it only has the one reversal left now, right? Has the one reversal. So it does gone... have one more energy, I believe, because it was one Shining Arcana used. Oh, yes, you are correct. So there's two energies left, one of which being a reversal, one of a... So, so it's going to have to be... Is the way out, you have to combine... The reversal, when you're behind on prizes, with the boss. Yeah, Hedy just right now just doesn't really need to do too much other than target down that guard block. Yes, yes. As soon as he's able to do that, in effect, he wins the game. Yes. So both players' mini games then. Hedy wants to get rid of that guard of Vyash on Arcana as soon as possible. See more Haru of refinement. Yep. needs to get energies onto that guard of our, and then combine with boss's orders onto a genesis that's both players win conditions right now we do see the revert oh my goodness i mean he's just got to yeah, commit there's no reason to, he yeah. has to commit just call, put heady in awkward scenarios heady can't draw cards with the path to the peak yeah. himself <laughs> oh um, my but goodness. it is four cards or three is it three or four that's no, three the zashin was knocked out and one Shining Arcana Guard of War, right? So, taking three prizes. So, Brainwave only does extra damage for each Psychic. Okay, right. So, that reversal doesn't count as a Psychic Not right, right now. now. It counts as a Colorless. But if he so, can, you can attack still, in theory, but... If Haru can um, disrupt enough yeah. to a point where Hedy has to keep taking knockouts on, you know, basic Pokemon like this and wow. not activate the reversal... Whoa, 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 whoa. He's putting it in the active They're now. currently equal. I guess there's still one basic energy. Wait! He just drew it. There's Shining Arcana, just drawing cards once again. Always gets to draw four with Refinement and Shining, Shining Arcana on his board. Wait, he doesn't, he doesn't KO if you attach that Psychic, right? On the Genesex. Does no, 180, just, I believe, right? Not, not even 180, 150. 150, oh, of course, yeah. Why would you... Why is Guard of Arnie active? What's happened there? What, what, what have I missed? I feel as if I've missed something. Why would you promote the Guard of R there? That he's also using, utilizing Radiant Greninja for two more. Oh, there's the boss. He goes Genesis. Wait, 60, 120. Is he just, no, he's just oh, hoping he's gonna, that Oh, okay, retreat. he's going to just basically say, can you move out of the active? Okay, yeah. that also makes sense. And does, does Hedy have it? Does have oh. DT in hand? Oh, yeah, wow. there's the extension and the, and the boss ooh. as well for the final two prizes. What an interesting game. 
Um, here, I mean, Haru able to take four prizes without even access oh, no, to Psychic yeah. Embrace. <laughs> it was essentially one turn away from winning there. If that Genesect couldn't move, he would have won. Wow. I'm, I'm, no, it's, not you often, are. it's not often, Alex, I'll be honest, viewers at home, speechless. That was an incredible game. Yeah, it was incredible to watch both players just navigating a very awkward scenario. Yeah. Um, Haru there being able to hit Shining Arcana early yeah. on and take the knockout on that Mu V. Turn two, if you recall. Um, yeah, but it just was. unable to just grab those God of our EXs out of the prizes. Yeah, and I think all credit to Haru there. Probably immediately almost working out right. Hold on. I've got no Guard of IEX, and I have to use Rule of the Sword plus Shining Arcana. And basically got all the way at any point. If one Guard of IEX was liberated from the prize card, that could have been a very different game. No. Unfortunately yeah. for Haru, that wasn't the case. But what a valiant effort, though. Yeah, 100%. I mean, Hedy very uniquely identified yeah, yeah, um, sure. that, well, where is this God of IEX? And why haven't you got it out yet? Where's all your energy gone? I can actually take my time with this one. Yeah, for sure. I can slow you down. I can try and bring up that Zashin, see that you can't retreat. Mm -hmm. I can work out pretty much what's going on here. I know exactly what cards you're drawing because it's not ideal for you to be able to take any KOs. Mm. And Hedy just kind of was able to take his time to yeah. take this win. I mean, we've only got just over 11 minutes left. Yeah. And like I said, full credit to Hari there going, uh, playing that really well. And like you said, full credit to Hedy as well. Identify, hold on. You played a lot of ultra balls mm. here. You've shuffled in psychic energies. I don't think you've got any X. So let me just make life as awkward as possible, um, which is exactly what he's done there. Yeah. And like you said, 11 minutes left to go, putting himself in a fantastic position. Yeah, exactly that. As we see both players just putting down their prizes. Oh, that one copy of Zashun mm, is yeah. in the prize card along with two rolls. Two rolls just being a little bit awkward. Um, but Wait. again, oh. this time a far more playable in comparison. Um, as we go into game two of our round seven feature match, yep. Priscilla in the active and Radiant Greninja Ooh, are bailing him Radiant out. Radiant Greninja concealing those cards, giving Haru that battle with our people. I say, right. Off to the races we go. Wow. Yeah, so we've seen some good draws for those Battle of our Pass. We saw the, uh, we saw the uh, Fleet Footed from the Raikou getting it earlier. And yeah, but I think Haru prized two rolls, didn't he? So yeah, that Fog Crystal cannot find a rolls. Nope, but of course still has access to cards like the Curlier allowing you to yeah. Mirage Death that as mirage well. Death, yeah. So let's see how this game plays out. 10 minutes on the clock. Harada attaching to the active Cresselia as well, this time not needing to go for the Zacian Roller Sword, but of course doesn't have access to it, and just passes over to Hedy with that Mu V in the active spot. Right, Alex, I'm sure you've been in these scenarios before, right? You know, and you have, uh, you've lost a long, tiring game. How do you sort of reset your mindset just so you can look at this game two and hopefully a game three with fresh eyes? What do you sort of do? I think in Harry's position, you've got to just just to take a moment to think yeah. that really can't happen again. You know, yes, for sure. Prizing double guard of our EX. I'm taking four prizes as well, and I'm still not seeing them. Yeah. Like the, both the two there, like everything was pretty much going my way in reality, <laughs> with, just without Psychic Embrace. I mean, Shining Arcana for two, getting <laughs> the knockouts, getting the boss when, he, when, it, when it was needed. Yeah. Um, so it's just thinking, well, this game, unfortunately, may be something be quite difficult to come back in in nine minutes mm. but i'm still 5-1 i'm still in contention yeah um regardless of the result here um and i'm you know i'm playing this game as well as i can and we've seen very top level plays from Haru's side of the board as yeah, we do see Hedy open up with a double feather ball letting you search for any pokemon with a free retreat cost mm -hmm. so, <laughs> making some <laughs> Some drawing some notes there. I can't remember what it was. A big circle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that like the psychic energy I'm thinking? Pokemon, Pokemon Pictionary already Pokemon uh, at, the <laughs> at the table. Could you imagine? I think that's a Voltorb, Haru. <laughs> yeah. That's my guess. Could be Electrode as well. You never know. So, triple Mu V on the heady side of the board. Yep. DT attached. No Genesex. Oh, yeah. There's the, the judge, judge, though. You know, one interesting thing about having three Mew Vs do, uh, does, I should say, it lets you utilize Psychic Leap mm -hmm. because you can have a backup Mew if you do Psychic Leap so you can continue the game plan. That may be something Hedy could be thinking about, you know. Removing damage is never a bad thing, especially if you can combine it with, like, Buster's Order into a Rolt. Oh, hold on Ooh, a sec. Oh, what, oh, oh, what was that last card? A worker. worker. 
Oh, that worker is going to have to put in some work, Alex, if uh, Haru wants to continue this game, because yes. right now, that's not a great hand. One Genesect on Hedy's side <laughs> of the board, already used to draw one from Fusion Strike System. And it looks like just a pass over. Oh, we've got an ultra, ultra ball, ball as well. Wow. And the Fog Crystal does have energies in hand, plenty to be that consistent draw with uh, the Greninja as well on the bench. So, let's Tell just see how Haru is going to play this turn out. Tell there you is. What, if we see a rare candy, we could see an attack with the EX. That puts on a lot of pressure, actually. Um, no rare candy yet. We do see a worker. Draw three. Oh, rare, rare candy. candy. Oh my god, it could be happening. It rare. could be <laughs> happening. Yep. Could start swinging away. Does get the energy uh, from this Vault Crystal as well. Remember, there's no more routes in the deck. Ultra Ball likely two energies. Start getting them in the discard, ready for Psychic Embrace. Yeah, and I think we're going to see the Miracle Force 190. Not the greatest of numbers, but what it does do, it deals with the Mu V and it deals with Genesex rather well. And Hedy could be getting punished for having to bench so many Mu Vs because now you're going to have to evolve them. Otherwise, Haru can just keep KOing them with Boss's orders and uh, that Miracle Force. Yeah, does limit Haru to just one route on the bench, so one that can potentially evolve into a refinement curlier, for example. Yeah. Uh, just to be able to get around. Does do a manual attachment, saves the 20 damage from Psychic Embrace, not, not having to impact it and bring the Guard of IEX more into range. Yeah. And I think you have to do this if you're Haru. Time is not on your side. You mm -hmm. have to race. You don't have a boss's orders in hand. Whoa, oh, I thought that was an attack there from Hedy. I don't think it was, though. <laughs> I was <laughs> about to check. say. What is there? <laughs> that we don't use energy mix. <laughs> that is, uh, couldn't use it anyway, to be fair. But yeah, I think it's what you have to do for Haru. You have to say, right, Ooh. let's just race. Can I take three two prize KOs? And we yes. see a judge. Yeah, so that's going to put, put that boss's orders away. Like you said, Haru only has access to one vaults now. That's one. Um, Refinement available to him next turn. Does have the Greninja as well. Did take two prizes. I'm, I'm not too sure if he was able to take a route out of uh, the bottom prizes there. No, and was taken. See, so no. there may be another way to just, you know, just start chaining them somehow. Um, has had to use a lot of resources to grab um, all those energies with those fog crystals being utilized already. There's the judge. I guess there is there, well, there is a world in which Hedy could just KO this Gardevoir, you know. <laughs> it's uh, it's it definitely a world. Modifi does three modifiers get you there? I think it does, right? That's 280. Uh, three power tablets. Correct. So we <laughs> it's a stretch with only one Genesect on the board. Oh, this is true, actually. That's a good point. But, <laughs> There's yeah. the, opti the optimist in me as a Mew VMAX player. <laughs> like, it's, po it's always possible. Stranger things have happened. <laughs> this is true. And now there's two Genesects on the board. So, you know, we're getting closer. It is worth knowing, Hedy, uh, that would have to be three straight copies of Power Tablet. There is no cleansing gloves in this list, which is often used for this kind of scenario. So here we go. Genesect. We're looking for Power Tablet. Box, Box of Disaster. disaster. Oh, didn't show us that final card. Of yeah, Battle of Path, that's why. <laughs> Don't worry about that. It does have Path to cause more, more sort of just awkward shenanigans as well. Attaches to the Genesect V. Lost Vacuum now. He's just, that's just gonna looking have to get rid of the box, Yeah, right? get rid of the box. Oh, choosing. Yeah, it's going to have to, right? The Battle I mean, VIP Path and the box. I guess there's a... Is there an argument? Triple for... power tablet, let's go. Yeah, here we <laughs> go. <laughs> this is for three. Uh, oh, cram chromatics. Oh, wow. goodness gracious. Oh, that's, that is... that's not ideal. Uh-oh. Now, it's not the end of the world if you just attack into this guard of our, yeah, right? It does have the switch card to retreat and then come back yeah, into yeah, it yeah, as so well for a two-hit KO. It's still perfectly fine. You go for a Techno Blast here, right? And yeah, so 190. And then if, Haru, if Haru wants to attack with this guard of art, it's very vulnerable next turn. So, initiative back over to Haru. What was, what was in Haru's hand? Oh, well, I saw, I saw a reverse. Oh, there's a, he just top decked a, a lost vacuum <laughs> yeah, as well. Right, yeah, that's a good start. There's a refinement curlier. Just double check. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Boss. Boss in boss hand. Is, Could boss, take boss another is great. couple of prizes. Goes down to two. Does need to get another curly uh, routes down as well, though. Yeah. Um, doesn't have a way to do it. I guess you could vacuum away just the path evolved to the peak. Up. Wasn't able to evolve oh, yeah, again. Yeah. Good, good catch there from the table judge, and a fantastic job there. Um, oh, I guess you could, uh, you could vacuum away the path and conceal cards to reverse. But reverse could be very nice as well. At just picking off a last KO on a Genesect. Yeah, there's a couple of options here. I mean, I think drawing that boss in this scenario right now without another, another card like a route or a way to get a route like a level ball. So just means that if he does choose to gust up 
anything on the bench. Yeah. Reactivates the move VMAX's attack without it does. without Heady having a you know a switch out as well. There's the lost vacuum onto the path to the peak. Maybe utilizing that reversal for a Greninja concealed yeah, card. Here we go. Really interesting draws here. What do we get? Couldn't what quite do we get? see. What do we get? Ultra, Ultra ball. Ultra ball. <laughs> mm. Kind of awkward scenarios. Does have does play the boss now? Is able to potentially try and grab another route down if necessary. Targets the Genesect V from that boss's orders. Tell you what, it's worth noting. Haru does play a Luminion, right? So it's very possible. He plays three copies of boss. He could easily boss his orders again if you can somehow get. Like, you can evolve the Curlier right? yep. into the Brainwave. You attach it Just one more one energy. energy. And then you can go Luminion boss. That's a very potential good, good yeah. game plan here. In, in, under, in about 10 minutes of yeah. gameplay, Haru has put himself in a position where he could actually yeah. take game two of this feature match. There's yeah. the path once again. Not, uh, not super relevant for Haru's game plan, but if you are heady, you're going to do exactly everything you can do, right? Um, Wow, but I guess Path to the Peak does actually stop the Luminion play, actually. Um, mm -hmm. Does close the door on that. Yeah. But there is a world. There's Shining Arcana already in hand. Wow, so we're going to... Big refinements and Shining Arcanas here, realistically. Super odd. Rick. Mm, That's refinements. He's not Shining super Arcana ideal. as well. We need to see a path out, realistically, right? Uh, oh. Curly up. Boss. Oh, the boss! Is that energy? Is that He's got energy in hand, right? Wait, he, uh, oh my God, that, is, is this it? So Cresselia, one retreat, boss onto the yeah, move. Yeah, hits 180. Take it. Hits 180, wow! Fantastic game. Oh my goodness, Haru whipping a Mew v match deck in that time frame. What a warrior, not going down without a fight. Fantastic, Alex. Incredible. Yeah. Those, those judges from Heady side of the board, not, wow. not too kind for himself. Yeah. And Haru just able to clutch that out in just such a short amount of time. What an... I think that is just testament to Haru's mindset there. Like you said, having to just decompress that game once, say, that shouldn't happen again. Mm -hmm. I'm a world-class player. I can do this. Executes perfectly. Again, navigating awkward game states, you know, having to attack with Guard of our brain without having yep. an EX, having to calculate everything correctly does so valiantly and evens up this series 1-1. One, one. Yeah, utilizing that Psychic Embrace when it was live yeah. as well, you know, removing that path to the peak. One final attack, take two prizes, but I'm also going to get those energies back on to my Curlier as well. Um, and yeah, it was just fantastic to see a Gardevoir be so aggressive. aggressive yeah. Um, you know, they typically go behind, that's why they play reversal yes, energies. Yeah. Um, and we go into a game three, not much time on the clock, but... Some um, fine prize cards, though. Yeah, absolutely. Both, imagine if these were the prize cards for, again, either of the games. It'll be a chance for both players to just actually get a full game on as we do see Hedy start for the first time in this round seven feature. Yeah, match. that is not a hot start, though. I didn't see any uh, Battle VIP pass. We're going to have to see an Ultra Ball for that Genesect. Um, is that two, two cards in hand? Uh, two cards in hand. So as it stands now, we could see a Fusion Trial System for one. Um, as the stream has been going, we could see that Fusion Trial System of 1B about with our P pass. That would be ideal for Hedy. I think I saw a glimpse of Haru hand. I think I saw two copies of Battle of our P pass. Oh, okay. So that hand is stacked. Fusion <laughs> Strike System for one. We do see the Ultra Balls that can always you know, going, discard yeah. down. Uh, what is that one? That was a Power Tablet, I believe. Yep. Yeah, there you go. So does this find Genesect? Does this find Mew? Yeah, there's the Battle of the RP Got pass. Be Just being right. flashed yep. by Haru as well. Yeah. Um, just confirming the turns between oh, each time player. has been called. Yep. Exactly um, that. Um, as we do so see the timer down to zero on the screen uh, for every, for us and everyone. The second Fusion Strike wow. system that up will, to there four. There we go. That Genesect was that's a world changing Genesect right there. Got the, got the uh, Forest Seal Stone and a Battle of mm. RP pass. So as it stands now, this is Hedy's turn zero. Correct. Uh, three more turns will get played. If, the conclude, if this game does not finish in those turns, this game does not finish, and as it stands, this will, uh, that will end this round in a tie. Yeah, which seems likely because Haru has the double VIP boss um, in his hand as well, and Hedy won't be able to kn knock out six Pokemon, for mm -hmm. example, and maybe bench Haru out. The one chance was maybe if Haru dead drew and just kind of passed back with that route. Yeah. But it's not happening today. <laughs> and and there is yeah. shown, and a fist bump um, from both players just... 
both players taking the tie. What a, what a fantastic round. <clears throat> yeah, wow, that was... I, I, I can confidently say I don't think we'll ever see a best of three like that, at least for a while. <laughs> We saw five or six uh, draw passes. We saw, <laughs> I'm laughing thinking about it now. Yep. We saw both Gardevoir EXP prize and they were the last two. And Harry was still only one turn away from winning. Mm -hmm. We saw Gardevoir, both games actually, get a turn to KO. Oh, yeah. And then in game two, we saw the, aggre the raw aggressiveness of the Gardevoir there going boss, boss. Um, with the guard of RTX to close it all out. Very unique round. Very unique round. Both players at the top of the game. Like I said, so unique to see Hedy identify yeah. um, a different route to victory. You know, being able to just not take knockouts, just kind of put some damage counters just so I do something. You know, yeah. it also forces the Zasha not to be eventually uh, attached yeah. with all of the Psychic Embrace energies as well mm -hmm. from a guard of RTX. So it's just. Yeah, it was just incredible to see how both players were thinking. Harry yeah. played e his every single one of his outs. Wow. Um, and it was just, just fell a little bit short, just but by the small margins, because God of RDX was hiding in the top. Yeah, <laughs> I just... <laughs> a God of RDX deck, everybody, right? Had no God of RDX, was a turn away from winning. Spectacular. And I think it's those scenarios, right, that, again, it separates the good from the great players. I'm thinking mostly from Hedy here. You know, identified, okay, there's probably no guard of IX. I could just KO this now. I could just get aggressive, but decide and wait a minute. Let's actually think about it. If there's no guard of IX, how does Haru win the game? Let's make that as hard as possible. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what he did. Got rewarded with the win. And then Haru, again, in the game two, saying, right, how do I win this game? I have to take a KO this turn, take a KO this turn, and next turn. He did that fantastic round, honestly. Yeah, and I'm going to say from Haru's side, you know, we said it multiple times already, identifying having to utilize Shining Arcana to yes. take knockouts, yes. uh, using that ability to attach the energies on, but then also having to find